Really, really quick, everybody, this entire video will be timestamped, so if you don't want to watch the intro or watch any part of the video, check the pinned comment or check the little red bar down below you, of course, and this entire video will be timestamped, and I would appreciate you watching whatever part that you would like to. And if you're sticking around, welcome back. I'm really excited for this series, guys. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be talking about it for a little bit, so please, if you, again, if you want to just get straight into it, there's a timestamp down below. This is my brand new series, Talk at Clen. We have Let's Talk Clen, where you guys suggest topics for me to talk about, and you have Talk at Clen. What I was thinking here is... Because I was really thinking about all that situation with iTalk, if you know iTalk, he got banned, and he had used to have this series called an Unpopular Opinions thing, so I wanted to do something like that. Not necessarily Unpopular Opinions, it doesn't even have to be unpopular, but I feel like this is kind of like what it's becoming. It's kind of what I'm thinking, that's the way I explained it. Give me an Unpopular Opinion. I said, give me a, an opinion about anything, I'll read it out here, I will give my thoughts on whatever you said, and I'd love to hear about it. So the, I wanted to separate this from Let's Talk Clen, so we have Let's Talk Clen and Let's Talk at Clen. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six to go over today, and let's... Guys, hop in the Discord, suggest a topic for the next video, not not suggest a topic, I'll also do that too, but put your own opinion about something, put your own opinion about something, doesn't have to be popular, doesn't have to be unpopular, whatever you guys want, I will read it, we will talk about it, with that being said, guys, thank you for participating for those of you who did, and let's get right into it. Starting off with, I don't think they should have hotfixed what they just did, the shotguns were weak enough where the casuals could have more fun in the game. Very fair, I would agree with you on that, however, I still find myself not really using shotguns. Yes, they hit harder, but they are still nerfed enough, if that makes sense. I think the nerf, like, initially I was like, oh no, they buffed shotguns because I was having fun, like you said, I, I was having fun with the casual perspective of the game. I loved it, loved everything about it, but I still don't think shotguns have buffed enough where it's really made a difference, you know? I guess it's a buff that could have been done, but maybe we'll have to play with it a little bit more, you know what I mean? But yeah. I actually agree with that one. Next up, Sonic has the best gaming music in the history of gaming and nothing comes remotely close. Also, I like the idea for this series. Great video today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for participating. I don't have anything else to say, but I completely agree with you. Now, I don't have the diversity. You know what? I, speaking of, before I say that, Fortnite actually has gotten really good with their music. Yes, they have a lot of copyrighted stuff. Yes, it's like stuff from TikTok and all that. But when they make their original music, like the end music from Fortnite, fantastic. But... Of course, it still comes nowhere near Sonic, I agree with you, by far. There's a lot of good gaming music, like, games make fantastic music all the time, but Sonic's, it just gets you in the mood, it just captures that Sonic feeling, you know, when you're a high-paced, fast-paced game, even in Smash Bros, every time I'm playing Smash Bros, I always turn on the Sonic music, even if I'm not even on the stage, like, Small Battlefield or something, yes, I completely agree with you, not even close, you will never convince me, otherwise you can show me any music from any game, I'll be like, no, Sonic's better, sorry. Moving on, it looks like this will be a little bit faster than my Let's Talk Glenn videos. I have an unpopular opinion, okay. Everything that happened with the Travis Scott shouldn't stop Epic Games from putting his cosmetics in the item shop. Some of them are actually really good and we know people still like them because they didn't refund. I see them all the time in game. I'm not saying what happened isn't bad, but it's just skins in a game and people are pressed for the wrong reasons. Okay, couple things there. I believe that I, I don't know, like, hmm... That's actually really tough. I understand your point. Completely. And in a way, you're not wrong. I can't really say you're wrong, because there's no really right answer for this, is there? I do think Epic Games handled it the proper way, and I would probably do the same thing. Because if you didn't know what Epic Games did, is they, if you had any of the Travis Scott stuff, you could request... I don't remember if it was a refund. Oh, I don't think it was, was it? You could just take being taken out of the locker. Think about it this way. If you buy something from, like, a store, if you buy... If I bought this microphone... Right? I bought this microphone from Yeti. If we found out something from Blue, something terrible happened with Blue and I didn't want to support them anymore, I can't just take this microphone and go, here, take this back because I already bought it. That's just not how things work. I could, like, I could throw out the microphone myself and never use it again and get a different microphone, but at the same time, I can't just give this back to you. Here, take it. I don't want it. You know? That's not how life works. So, I, I see, I think Epic Games did... Initially, I was thinking, you know what? They could give a refund for the Travis Scott stuff, but... If I'm doing the same thing with my microphone again here, I wouldn't get a refund for that, right? I, uh, might sound a little insensitive, but I do think that Epic Games handled it the proper way. For the people who don't want to see the Travis Scott stuff in the locker anymore, you don't see it. But of course, there's still people like, yes, of course, it's disrespectful to people do with the Travis Scott doing the robot. And, you know, you see the TikToks. I personally find dark humor really funny, but I understand the disrespect in that sense. You could take away all the Travis Scott stuff. They've done stuff like that in the past where they took, they took away police cars from the game. But that shouldn't stop Epic Games from putting his cosmetics in the item shop. Okay, that I kind of <laughs> disagree with. Sorry if I'm like bouncing around the topic here. I, I agree with that. Yeah, you know what? I did I do think they handled it well. They they're, He's never coming back to the item shop, but the people who already bought it and want to keep it, keep it. I agree with that. 
but I don't think that it should necessarily be put back in. Of course, I just said this video will be a little bit quicker than I talk for like that for like two minutes and that I just get off topic sometimes like, oh, well, anyways, let's move on. Agumon deserves a smash, spot in Smash Ultimate way more than any new Pokemon. We have enough Pokemon and Agumon represents an entire different generation. Yep, I agree with that. I don't have anything to add there. Agumon, yes, he's never coming to Smash Bros, but I would love it. I love Digimon. I grew up on Digimon. Of course, I've said it a lot of times on the channel. I don't play Pokemon. I don't have experience with any Pokemon games. Digimon was my... Oh, I loved it, though. I love the Digimon game. So, yes. Personal bias aside, though, Agumon, yes, I do agree with you. He deserves a spot more. He, gaming history here. Deserves a spot than any more new Pokemon. It would be different. It would be so cool to have Agumon versus Pikachu. Think about the stuff that represents. I completely agree with you more than a new Pokemon. I would say if it would be different if it was like there was no Pokemon in the game, then I'd be like, yes, Pikachu deserves over Agumon. But of course, we already have a lot of Pokemon. Yes, I, I, I absolutely agree with that. Moving on, Late Game Arena should be a permanent game mode. I agree with that as well, actually. I love playing Late Game Arena. It was so nice too. Have you noticed when that was in there? All the sweats. I don't like using that term, but you guys can understand what I'm talking about. All the good players in Fortnite, they have been playing Late Game Arena and they haven't been completely filled with pubs, but that the, on the other side of the coin there, they get better. And then when they do come to pubs, you get absolutely stomped on. So I do think, especially with this loophole where shotguns suck, I, it would be nice for them to have like spawn with pumps and stuff and like have their own game mode to play but then again no you don't have that in arena right i think it would be cool if they had late game arena mode with the pumps and the charges whatever they want you know what it's a separate loop pool i think that'd be very healthy for the game and it would keep it would keep fortnite more casual it really would but yeah i do agree it should be a permanent game mode but of course like a lot of people don't want it to be a permanent game mode because then the sweats will get a lot better i think it does it, it does less harm than good all right guys and for this last one we have a response to the good looking guy when he said Sonic is the best gaming music in history and it's not even close. Disagree, Rainbow Road Tracks, take it home, you know what? Rainbow Road Tracks, okay, here's the thing with that. Great music, it really is, but how can you charge out with Sonic? Could you imagine if Sonic, like, Sonic, ha Sonic does have a racing game, but like, when you're playing games, you're not, if you're playing Mario Kart, you're not vibing to the Rainbow Road music. Well, it, I am because I'm stupid. Not, I don't mean to be stupid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I enjoy that, like, stuff. I enjoy the music. But most people, when they play Mario Kart, they don't start thinking about Rainbow Road song. I do. But with Sonic, you can't help it but just, like, run around. You're vibing to the music. You know, it's awesome. It's awesome. Sonic's music is just on a completely different level. But Rainbow Road tracks, they are beautiful. They are beautiful and recognized all over the world. Fantastic. I disagree with you, but the, also the Rainbow Road tracks are really good. But guys, with that being said, I'm going to put an end to this video today. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So guys, please join the Discord. Write an opinion. It doesn't have to be unpopular. Just write an opinion. I will get, read it here. Give my thoughts. This was a lot of fun. I'm going to make this a series of Talk at Clint. Thank you for those who participated. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here and you enjoy the content, please consider the like button. It would help out the channel a ton. And subscribe if you're brand new. If you'd like to use my support creator code in the item shop, it is Clint-Coco. Hashtag add my hashtag epic partner. Check the description for any links you might want to find, and you will also find down there Real Ember on Fiverr if you're an aspiring YouTuber looking to make thumbnails. Please check out the absolute best in the business, and Real Ember does almost all my thumbnails. Absolutely fantastic work. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.